So today we are going to continue from part 25 and in this part we are going to be working to delete, we are going to create a function to delete an, uh, a country object from our database. And as I promise, it's going to be very easy. We are not going to be tinkering with JavaScript and jQuery and writing all this JavaScript code in a different file. So I'm going to make it easy in this case so that we don't run into any problems. And it's also best practice to avoid scripts, JavaScript as much as possible. Um, so let's write the controller um, uh, code and then we write the, the HTML uh, markup for, for, for deleting. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever following any of my classes and all these assets for this application is available to you in my GitHub. You can find in the description of this video or in the description of the first video. All right, let's now go to country service. So let's write the method for delete. So I'm going to say public void. I'm going to call it delete. And what are we deleting? It's going to be taking an integer uh, ID and it's going to simply say return. Actually, it's not returning anything. So it's going to say country repository dot delete by ID and specify the ID that we are passing across. And then finally we, want, finally we want to write the method in the uh, controller. What, you what we just wrote is the service. Now the method is going to be like this public string and we are also going to call it delete and we are going to give it an integer, oh, sorry not you, integer ID and uh, integer ID and we are simply saying country service dot uh, delete and give it the ID okay okay perfect and we're also going to return a redirect to the list so I'm going to say return redirect to the list countries okay this is where we are returning to once we delete we want to redirect to the same list all right, now, so the marking now is where we need to pay attention. So normally we can say at delete marking. Mm -hmm. If we see at delete marking is okay, but for some reason it's not going to work because what happens in Spring Boot, when it deletes, it's going to do a get first to get the object and then do a delete to delete. So it's going to do two things. So if we specify at delete marking, it's going to not, it's going to reject it and tell you that this method does not support get uh, or, or requires get. So we are going to uh, specify two methods at the same time, uh, get and delete. So to do that, we're going to use request mapping instead of uh, delete mapping. So request mapping, and in this case, we're going to say value is equal to, uh, we're going to be going to slash countries and slash delete and slash id okay so like this so once you go to slash country slash delete slash five or slash whatever it's going to delete that particular um record so what we have in curly braces is the id of the record we want to delete so this is a placeholder to hold the id of the request coming so if you are if you are getting this request from the browser um address bar this ID is going to actually contain the real value, the actual value to be deleted. And now I'm going to say request uh, methods is equal to post, sorry, is equal to get and specify a second time methods is equal to request method of delete. So you have to specify the, the two methods. Actually, uh, method is equal to, I think it's going to be enclosing curly braces like this. So the two of them, let me give me one second. Yeah, so like this. So method is equal to request method.get, comma, request method.delete. So this is exactly how to write the controller method to delete. So specify both get and delete. Now let's now go to the country table so that we specify the let's go to the country table so that we specify 
the, the, the link or the URL for the country to be deleted. All right, so this is the delete link. Uh, the, the, the red button here is the delete link. So the href now, remember we are working with time leap, so we are going to say thhhref is equal to, and in time leap, if you are specifying the link, you are going to use the add keys, open and close, and then specify seconds slash countries or slash delete. Okay, so at the end of it here, we, we need to specify the ID of the country. So the ID of the country is coming from here. It should be country.id, but it's not captured here. So we are going to say inside here, I'm going to say plus, sorry, I'm going to say plus and specify a dollar sign and country.id okay okay so this is how it should be so here we specify slash country slash delete slash then we specify country.id for the particular records we are about to delete so what i'm going to do now i'm going to run this code let me save all and then run it let's see if it actually works so let me refresh let me just check that i'm not yeah so one more thing one more thing, we also need to do a confirmation. So to add a confirmation without having to write several JavaScript code. So I'm going to say on click, on click is equal to, um, just, let me just make sure, return, confirm, and specify a message. Are you sure you want to delete this record? So if the user clicks uh, select yes, uh, then the record is deleted. If he selects no, then the record stays. All right, I think we should be fine. So let me just increase the font so that you can take some time to look at it. So yeah, so let's just run it and make sure and check if it works. So let me refresh, uh, we run the page now. Okay, so the application starts as usual. So let me refresh. Now I want you to take note of the address bar here once I'm moving my mouse. So what do you see? So it's actually showing the ID of the record to be deleted. So let me delete United States here, delete. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. But let me, uh, since, okay, let me delete the last one. Let me say yes, okay. And it says, let's go back to the controller. So there is, a, there is a mistake here. So we need to tell the controller that the ID is coming from uh, as a path variable. So I'm going to specify a path variable here. Okay, so this is where the problem is coming from. So let's refresh, uh, rerun the application now and let's see what we have. Go back here. Okay, so now I'm going to delete United Kingdom. So I'm going to delete, uh, cancel no, so delete. Okay, so you see it deletes. Let me delete the second United States, which is the last one. So delete. So you can see that the delete works perfectly well. So I'm going to be stopping here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever following this lesson. I think uh, I did not explain so clearly, but I think you should have all the codes uh, you need right here. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.